Quasars. Since their discovery, quasi-stellar audio sources, or Quasars for short, continue to be both one of the most baffling objects in the universe and one of the most capable of inspiring heated arguments amongst scientists. Quasars remain the most profound mystery in the heavens. The conventional interpretation of the spectral lines observed in Quasars is based on the redshift hypothesis. In the early 1960s, Quasars were known as radio stars because of the method used to discover the first Quasars was based on coincidences between a strong radio source and a point-like optical source. Since each radio source was associated with a star, the term radio star seemed very complimentary. Stellar optical counterparts to small regions of strong radio emission above us in the sky. With increasing spatial resolution of radio telescopes, the strong radio emission often seemed to come with a pair of lobes surrounding many of these faint star-like emission line objects. The initial method of selection was strong radio emission, and then later any object with blue or ultraviolet excess was considered a good KSAR candidate. Very recent evidence from the near-infrared portion of the spectrum indicates that a large fraction of quasars may in fact be brighter than the infrared in other wavelength bands. When radio telescopes were first turned upwards in the heavens, point sources of radio waves were discovered, along with spread out regions of emission along our Milky Way galaxy. Astronomers using ordinary visible light telescopes turned towards these radio points and looked to see what was there. In some cases, a supernova remnant was found. In others, a large star birth region. And in others, a distant galaxy. But in some places where point sources of radio waves were found, no visible source other than a stellar looking object was found. It looked like a point of a star. These objects were called the quasi-stellar radio sources, or quasars for short. Later, it was found that these sources could not be stars in our galaxy, but must be very far away, as far as any of the distant galaxies seen. Quasars are not that hard to observe, so long as you have a big enough telescope. The Hubble Space Telescope has shown that quasars live in a remarkable variety of galaxies, many of which are violently colliding. These complicated pictures suggest that there may be a variety of mechanisms, some quite subtle for turning on quasars, the universe's most energetic objects. Hubble researchers are also intrigued by the fact that the quasars studied do not appear to have obviously damaged the galaxies in which they live. Until we are able to explore more of our universe with more efficient tools, quasars shall continue to be a mystery for our scientists to study and one day solve. In the meantime, we shall continue to enamor their utter beauty and the mystery that continues to baffle us. Be sure to subscribe for more Space Rewind, and tell us in the comments what you would like to see next in an upcoming video.